What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield. You guys already know the deal. Hopping onto that rank double ladder. And ladies and gentlemen, check out this team that we have for you guys today. Today, we got ourselves a Speed Boost Blaziken team alongside of Moxie Salamence and Weakness Policy Rotom. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, thank you to everybody who supports me as a content creator. It really does go a long way, so I really do thank your support. But this team right here was sent in by my main man, Trenton. Trenton, thank you so much for coming in clutch yet again, sending me a banging team right here, so I cannot wait to get onto that rank double ladder and get some wins with this squad. Starting off with these guys, we got Salamence in that top left corner with that Moxie ability. If we get a KO, we're going to get a Moxie boost. Attack's going to go up plus one, and we're just going to get stronger and stronger as the battle goes on. Lumpberry as our item to protect us from status conditions. Breaking Swipe and Dual Wing Beat for our stab moves. Rock Slide for coverage and protect as our final move. Right next to him is going to be a great little support mod with Confi, Triage ability, but Beery Berry so we can soak up a steel shot. And then we got Draining Kiss, Giga Drain to proc Rotom Wash's uh, weakness policy. Floral Healing and Ally Switch to protect Ally Pokemon. Middle left is going to be our bread and butter for this team. I absolutely love this Pokemon and been wanting to show him off for quite a while now. And that is going to be Blaziken over here. We got the White Herb as his item, Speed Boost for his ability, and then this awesome moveset of Flare Blitz, Close Combat, Thunder Punch, and Detect. And what I really like about Blaziken is his ability. I think his ability is like unmatched. It's such a good one. You can go into a Protect or a Detect in any turn. Block out any moves and get a free plus one speed boost and then be able to outspeed any Pokemon. So hopefully we get to show off that little tactic and get rolling with that Blaziken in today's videos. But right next to him is going to be our next Pokemon. That is going to be Galarian Zapdos with Defiant ability. Focus Sash so we don't get one tap. And then we got Thunderous Kick, Dual Wing Beat, Coaching to coach up our physical attackers and Detect as our final move. Bottom left is going to be Rillaboom. Again, this Pokemon rocks out in any situation. I feel like I can bring him in on any team, and he just dominates the battle, and he fits super, super well. Grass Surge as his ability. Assault Fest so we can soak up some special attacking shots. And then that amazing moveset form of Grassy Glide. Knock off, U-turn, and fake out for flinches. Final Pokemon on this team is going to be Rotom Wash. Levitate ability, weakness policy as his item. Once we get that proc and rolling, we're going to be able to dominate. And I feel like it's going to be fairly easy with the Confi because Confi is just a great weakness policy proc. -er. I feel like it's one of the best in the game considering it gets first turn priority with his triage ability. We got Thunderbolt and Hydro Pump for stab. Ally switch to protect ally Pokemon if we're not using them as an attacker and protect as our final move. Guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, you guys already know. Mental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this speed boost Blaziken team. Battle number one coming at you guys, going up against a decently meta team. A lot of meta Pokemon on this team. He's got Thunderous, Lapras, Urshifu, Tyranitar for weather control, Dragapult, and Regilecki. So those two bottom Pokemon, Dragapult and Regilecki, I'm kind of scared of, not even going to lie. But how should I go into this one? How should I play it? Um, I kind of want to get this policy rolling. I kind of want to get this policy rolling. I feel like Rotom does a lot around here, and he can control weather. So we're going to go Confi and Rotom, see if we can get that buzzing. Bring Blaziken in that back end, and then final Pokemon. Who are we going to go with final Pokemon? Is it going to be Rillaboom? I feel like Rillaboom's not bad at all. I feel like we bring Rillaboom here. Do we need an extra physical attacker? I don't want Zapdos. I definitely don't want Zapdos because I'm not, I'm not going to be coaching here. So it's between Salamence and Rillaboom. Salamence isn't bad, but I just feel like Rillaboom uh, is a little better in these situations here because he has the Lapras, he also has the, the Tyranitar, and the first turn priority just works so well considering he has no terrain changes or Pokemon that can set terrains without Dynamax. So I'm really liking that. But guys, let me know for question of the day since we are using a starter today. What starter would you guys like to see join Pokemon Sword and Shield? Considering there's like a bunch of other ones that didn't make the cut, I would love to see Greninja. Greninja is one of my favorite Pokemon. I would love to see him join this game. It would be awesome news on the rank the double ladder. So let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. But let's see. He's going to lead out Regilecki and Thunderous. And Thunderous. Okay. Right. I mean, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. I think I just proc policy, Dynamax set weather, and roll. Right? Is that the play? Is that the play jeans? Dynamax? I don't I don't see this thing being sash right here. Oh, uh, let's just proc. Let's just proc and get rolling. You know Regilecki is a little scary. I feel like we should still be fine with the floral healing and the ally switch and all that good stuff. But he might just go for speed control. That might be his play here. Nope, he's gonna dynamax. Is it gonna be Thunderous or Regilecki? I feel like both of them are viable options. But I do see it more so being the Thunderous. Let's see. 
Yep, lovely little Thunderous is going to get his Dynamax. And I think he's just going to try to speed control with you. Right we might just go after my Confi. Let's see. Let's see how this one plays out. Might go E-Web into Airstream. I think that's what he's gonna do. Gonna go for. E-Web into Airstream. Unless this thing is policy and he's gonna go for an Ancient Power. Because I know he learns Ancient Power. I know that for a fact. I know Rotom learns a little bit of Ancient Power work. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's check it out. What are you gonna go for? Giga Drain's gonna pop first. Hasty little policy procking. Let's get it rolling. And I, I would love to have my Confi for another turn after this. But we'll see how this one plays out. Oh, this thing is just screens. Okay, so he's just going to set up screens. I feel like my Pokemon should be fine here. He's going to go for a Darkness into Confi, right? Nope, into my Rotom. My Rotom's going to be able to eat up all day. But the bad part about that is going to be that defense drop right there. It's going to be special defense, so he is physical, so I'm really liking this. Unless he is special attack and we're just trying to set up for his uh, Vezilecki. We're going to be able to drop a Geyser even though Light Screen is up. We get that Weather Control, so our next shot is going to do even more damage. Okay. I'm digging this. Do I go for Floral Healing? It's a play here. I feel like I just Floral Healing my boy. Or we just take out this Vegilecki, right? Let's say we take out this Vegilecki. Not have to deal with it. Floral Healing up here. That Vegilecki is really light. He's a real glass cannon here. So I feel like once we hit him with this geyser, even through the screens, we should be able to take him out, no problem. E-Web's going to come out here, slow us down just a little bit, and Confi's going to take some damage. And I wonder who he's going after. But I feel like if he goes for a Rotom, he won't be able to KO us. Let's see. Yeah, no, he's not going to be able to KO my Rotom, which I'm really liking where we're sitting at. I am really liking this, because I can ally switch next turn. Here's my geyser. Geyser should be able to pick up the KO, right? No problem. Unless he's Sash, which he might be. Let's see. Bring him down. He is Sash. So I can go for a Draining Kiss. Do that easily. As much as I want to go for a uh, something else, I think I'm going to guard. And just go for a Draining Kiss. Just waste out Dynamax like that. That's totally fine. Hopefully his, uh, his Thunders goes after my Rotom. That would be a lovely little play. I would love to go just take out his Vegilek here and then guard up the next one and just cancel out Dynamax because I feel like my two back end Pokemon could really pick up a win for us. And then I could Floral Healing or just Ally Switch and get off another shot with my Red or uh, Rotom. Because Rotom's going to be able to hit really hard regardless. If he's Dynamax or not. But there's my guard putting up a shield. Gotta love it. Green Kiss comes here. Yeah, yo, Vegilek, get out my game. Get out my face. I'm sick of you. I'm sick of you, man. And I kind of got to wait out a little bit of this rain for my Blaze King come in here. Axe Lightning's going to come through. Block. Okay, so big turn for us. I really do like that turn. Um, he does have Speed Advantage. He does have lovely little Speed Advantage. And we know that that, uh, that what's called is going after me. We know that that Thunderous is going after my Rotom. So I could Ally Switch. I could Floor Healing. Ooh, it's a play here. I think Ally switch into into a T-Bolt if you play. I don't want to double it. He might double up into me. I think a nice, lovely little Ally switch here. Hmm. Go with T-Bolt, right? I would love the floor healing, but we're going to Ally switch. I don't think he's going to see this coming. Let's shot this Ally switch. He might protect... Hmm. But I'm curious too if if my Rotom outspeeds that Lapras. I know we're minus one, and Lapras is rather slow, so we're gonna see that right here. There's a nice little ally switch, and a wild charge gonna come through into Confi now. Confi's gonna be able to eat, and Rotom outspeed. Needs you here. Needs you here, buddy. There's not free strike's gonna pop through. And yes, beautiful play by me. Beautiful ally switch by me. I thought he was gonna go into the Rotom for a second. That's why I like stuttered a little bit. But yo, gotta love it. He is Life Orb. Thunderbolt comes out here. Gonna do some big damage. And pick up the KO. Let's go. Huge ally switch from your boy. Gets rid of his Life Orb Pokemon. And now we're sitting really good. I can roll out with Roll Boom if I really want to. Just get off a Fake Out. Yeah, make that thing flinch. Yo, I'm digging this. I'm digging this right now. I'm really digging it. We do change up terrain to our terrain. And he's gonna send out his final mom, which is going to be 
Tyranitar, yo, dude, I got Blaziken in the back end. This, it's pretty much over. I just gotta get rid of the Sunders. Because a close combat can absolutely just dump on a Tyranitar, no problem. Especially Stab. Sandstream is gonna change up the weather, which I love. Which I love, because I, I kind of need that weather going. But we can roll into a Grass Guide if I really want to. But I think I'm just going to fake out here. And... We'll go for the Hydro Pump. I really want to go into this this guy right here. I'm not going to go for the Hydro Pump. I feel like this would be a better shot for us. Fake out comes out. Bop. Doing some nice damage. And who's faster, Rotom or the Tyranitar? It's okay. That's fine. So, Rotom's going to actually drop here. And, yeah, dude, I'm totally fine by that. I'm, I'm totally fine by that. We got to flinch off that turn. I think a Grassy guy can take out that, uh, that what's called no problem. That thunders. I am going to protect my what's called. My boys can hear. Just for sheer fact, we get a speed boost and I can guarantee myself out speeding a lot of these guys. And do I have protect on? No, I do not have protect for you. I'd rather go for Gra Grassy Glide. Even though it's not very effective, I still see a KO in, right? I'm shooting the attack. Let's run it. We just need the Stunners going. We need the Stunners going. If I can get this thing out of my face, we'll be chilling. I can see his Tyranitar protecting here as well. Looking at I'm going to glide across, but again, I just need his Tyranitar. Or not the Tyranitar, the Thunders going. His boy skin is going to get the speed boost. He's going to be able to rock out and hit hard. Can we pick up the KO here? We do. Lovely, lovely, lovely. That's going to be GG's. That is going to be GG's because we know Tyranitar doesn't have Sash. And we know his close combat is going to do a ridiculous amount of damage. Stab, it's like base 120. I think it's four times super effective. Right? Because he's rocking dark. I'm going to be able to hit this thing like a truck. I'm going to be able to hit this thing like a truck. Dun, 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 Actually, it might not be four times super effective. Or it might be. I'm not too sure. But there's our speed boost. God love it. I love it, and that is exactly what I was talking about in the intro, is rolling into a protect like that just to get off something like that. Just get that speed boost off, but we can grassy guide and then we close combat, but I see him just canceling out this battle and us taking this win in battle number one. It's not cancel, so Glide's going to roll through here. Bink, do a huge amount of damage, a ridiculous amount of damage. That's why Roll Boom is so good. His weakness policy procs, but it don't matter. It don't matter. My main man Blades King coming in here, beating him up. Throwing a bunch of punches and finishing off this battle. Let's go. We played that one so well. Clutch ally switch early on for a Rotom to pick up another KO and set up our back Pokemon for that win. Looking to get back-to-back -back victories in today's video. We're hopping into our second battle. In that first battle, we made some great reads. We got that max guard with that Rotom and that wonderful ally switch, which pretty much won us the game with that Confi. But hopefully we can take that skill, bring it in here, and catch ourselves a win. We're going up against a Blastoid team alongside with Incineroar, Amoongus, Intimidate Lanners, and then he has that Venusaur and Meow stick combo. He also can set Sunny Day, so I gotta watch out for that. That is all weather. He can rock out from there. Uh, who should I go into? I'm thinking Salamence could be great. I think it's Salamence, but then I gotta watch out for that Intimidate. Actually, let's do this. Let's go Salamence and Zapdos. If he Intimidates, we get the fine boost. I can just rock out with my bird. But if he doesn't, I can just start coaching and get Salamence out there and get rocking with him. So I am really liking that. We're gonna bring Bla Blaziken in the back and then in the final spot. I think Rotom works way better than Rillaboom here. Right? It's gonna be Rotom and Rillaboom. Let's go Rotom. Let's get Rotom Wash back in action. Have him rock out here. You guys already know what Real Boom does, but Rotom doesn't get as much love in this Real Boom. So if we can pick ourselves up a victory in battle number two here. Um, I think he's going to lead the Meowth Stick alongside with maybe the Blastoids. Or Amoongus with Blastoids works as well. And hopefully he's not holding that Koba Berry because we have Max Airstream and we can just get after it that way. Let's see how this one plays out. And Blastoids is probably rocking the Ice Covers move, so I got to watch out for that. Considering I'm leading Dragon. I'm leading Salamence, and he's my boy. I want to show him off because he doesn't get as much loving as he should. And I do like using uh, all meta Pokemon or Pokemon that don't really get used too much because I feel like you guys see all the same Pokemon on the rank double layer at all times. So I always try to use Pokemon that you guys don't see too much to bring you guys some better content like, Sal like Salamence here. But he goes Amoongus and Meowstic and yo, I'm just going to coach up. He doesn't rock follow me, right? He probably has Fake Out. I think I'm still going to go into this. I might go for the sleep powder, which I don't, I don't like. Do I just do a wing beat? I do, I do have my lumberry, so. 
I'm rocking with that. I'm with it all day. He might fake out on one of my guys, so I'm just going to Dynamax here. Hopefully, he fakes out my Salamence, and we can get off this coach and then this Airstream. And if he goes for a Spore on the Salamence, yeah, dude, I'm totally fine with that. Lumberry's going to pop, and we're going to be able to take him out in the next turn. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see how this one plays out. Right, Miastic, I think it's just going to flinch, right? It's just going to go for the fake out, and the move is going to go for the sleep. That's what I see with this combo. I don't see him doing any big damage. I see him pestering around here. Maybe throwing some paralyzes, doing this and that. What would be a clutch play is if he goes for a paralyze on Tobias Salamence, knowing I'm Lumberry, eats my Lumberry, and then sleeps me. That would be an insane read, but I don't feel like anybody has ever done something like that. Oh, he's skill swapping. I don't know what that does, but it does something crazy. Are you just getting your speed? Oh, swapped abilities. That thing's prankster. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. What is this? What is this? Don't show me this thing's Cobra Berry. That might have been the coolest thing I've ever seen. I'm not even gonna lie. That's, that's so sick. Kick him out. He's sad, yo. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? He's gotta go. We gotta get rid of him here. Another speed boost for us. Yo, what is this? <laughs> not what I was expecting. That is pretty dope, though. I'll give it to him. If we can coach, we can coach. Uh, I think I'm just gonna drop a rock fall into Meowstic. Because we know he's going to go for that. We know he's going to go for the spawn. Onto my Salamence. So we're just going to waste our Lumberry here. And get off some damage to take him out with Buffets. Spore's coming out here. Oh, I didn't see that coming. But wait a minute. What you didn't realize is your boy's got a Lumberry. Get out my face, Moongus. Get real sicky in my battles. That dose is still slumped. That's totally fine. Meowstic is going to go for a what? I don't even know. It didn't go yet. But here's a Rock Fall. We're going to take out Moongus with the, uh, the Buffets. And we're going to get off a little bit of damage onto Meowstic. Even though maybe I should have just took out that Amoongus. Or that Moxie boost, I think we're still fine. And what is that? Leftovers? I know he's a jack button. Okay, so I like this. I'm digging this. Amoongus, I need you to get out of my game. That was cool, though. That was really cool. Skill swap. Skill swap Amoongus. Get buzzing with that. Lando's going to come out here. Yo, dude, thank you very much. Emanate's going to come out. And I'm going to define boost here. Be fine. And I am going to go minus one with him, but I still like my Zapdos. My Zapdos is him pretty here. Now I'm going to take Buffett, Amoongus to get out of my face. I need you going. Alright, so Amoongus is gone. Um, do we have speed? I feel like my, my bird should be able to outspeed decently. Yeah, we do. We have a we have speed because of the uh, airstream. And I might just go for a worm one. I just feel like Salamence isn't doing a lot of damage here. But I think we just worm one and we pester on to this, uh, this, what's it called? Oh, he has fake out ready to rock. I'm just gonna protect you. I don't know, what is he gonna do? And I'll try to go for, uh, a Thunder's Kick or a Dual Wing Beat. Oh, Dual Wing Beat's gonna be play. Onto Lando. And then I'd rather get off this, uh, attack drop. I'm gonna double up into Lando. Let's double up into Lando. Let's see what his play is. He might just paralyze me. But yo, do that? That's skill swap? Yo, I'm digging it. That's a sick turn. There's his Dynamax. There is his lovely little Dynamax. Hopefully my Zapdos wakes up here. I think we should be able to outspeed both these guys because we were plus one on speedboard. And I really just want this uh, minus one attack drop onto this Lando. He could be uh, life up as well. Which I'm not liking. Which Jeans is not liking. Let's see his play. What's your play, man? Wake up, Zapdos. Fake out's coming out here. So smart play. Thinking I'm going to wake up. He's going to fake me out. Uh, I'm still asleep, so it don't really matter. Here goes my worm win. We get a nice, lovely attack drop on him. You know, we're not going to do a lot of damage. The attack drop is going to be bigger than anything. So there's that. There's that attack drop on a big old physical attacker. And he's just going to dump all my Zapdos, I think, right? The airstream. Yep. Bye, Zapdos. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for coming around. But yo, dude. I'm still amazed at that uh, that Amoogus, uh skill swap. I dig that. I dig that combo. Something that totally threw me off. I was just like, dude, you can't really do much except for fake out and spore. Dude has, says here, take Prankster, you go first. I was like, what? Like, that's crazy, man. The buff is going to be dropping out here. I can go Rotom. Uh, do I want to go Rotom, though? Do I want to go Rotom? I do have Levitate. Hmm. What does Jeans want to do here? Actually, I want to do this. Why? Watch this. 
Watch this, guys. Watch this lovely little waste of a turn here. Watch this amazing turn here. Watch it. Are you guys watching? It's either going to be good or totally awful. Shh. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. Force that Max Quake over here? I'm digging it. I'm digging it. And lower attack stats again. I'm digging it. Can Jeans get the big read? He's got to go for Quake. You got to go for Quake here. You do not know I have my boy in the back. There's no way you drop a rock. No way you drop a rock. You're not that smart. You're going to go for Quake into my blaze again. You're doing it, and we're swapping. We're dodging it. Hey, your boy's been getting real risky lately. And I, and I like making this place. He's going to withdraw me out a second. He's going to go into from here. We're going to Venus room. It's pretty cool, I guess. It's pretty cool, I guess. See yeah, how this one plays out here. Rotom comes out here. Show me a quake. Oh, maybe. Show me the quake. Right, that's, that's fine, I guess. We tried. We tried. We definitely tried. Venusaur is out. I'm kind of scared of that bean. I'm kind of scared of the bean. We tried at least. <laughs> uh, how many turns is left in his Dynamax? He can't go for a Quake. He cannot go for a Quake. I think I just protect this turn and try to get off another Breaking Swipe. That's my turn. Oh, tough, tough, tough. That would have been an awesome read. That would have been great, and I really didn't think I had it for a second. But he ended up dropping a rock on my Salamence. I'm, su I'm super surprised. I'm super surprised. I would have quaked that all day. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have overthinked. I would just been like, Yo, I'm quaking him. Get him out of my game. But that would have been a nice little special defense boost there as well. Tech's gonna come out from Rotom because I think he's gonna go for like a Giga Drain or something on my Rotom. And trying to get off another breaking swipe. Airstream's gonna fly through, and he's gonna take out my Salamence. Okay. Okay, I see you. But more importantly, the Dynamax turns are over. Dynamax turns are over. He does He does have Sleep Powder. He's just going to drop a Sleep Powder, and we are blocking it. Right, so Buffets are chipping. Dude, this one's tough. This is tough news. I have to protect my Blaze King to get that speed boost. So I can take out the Venusaur in one shot. Right? That's got to be your play. That has got to be our play. So I think I'm going to protect here, get the speed boost, and I guess Hydro Pump with Rotom. Let's see how this one plays out. But I think Venusaur outspeeds me right now. I think Venusaur does outspeed me. Until I get the speed boost, we'll see. We shall see. This is a good battle. This is a really good battle, to be honest with you guys. Because he just has Meow Stick in the back, so I'm not really worried about that. He can really just fake out, and I don't think he has any other hitting moves with that. It's just going to be all pester and stuff. So if I get rid of both these guys, we should be chilling. But this one I'm hoping. I'm hoping the Sleep Powder comes into my Blade Skin slot, and we can land this uh, Hydro Pump. If that happens. That's a big turn for us. That would be a big turn if I can just waste this Venusaur Sleep Powder. Smart play for him would just be going to Rotom. But then he probably feels like, yo, dude, that boy can, can hit me hard. But let's see how this one plays out. We got that the tech rolling. Show me your sleep pattern on me. Lando's gonna fly. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Our hydro pump's gonna miss. Sleep pattern's gonna come through. Let me block. Okay, I'm digging that. I'm really digging that. So sand sort of subsides. Um. Could ally switch here. He boost popping. I think I'm gonna ally switch going into a flare blitz. Right. Just Flare Blitz on the Venusaur. Flare Blitz on the Frog. Fly's gotta come to my Blaziken slot. Right? I don't think he sees me rocking Alex Switch right now. Let's see it. Fly comes through. Going into who? Yep. Oh, lovely. Lovely Alex Switch by Jeans. Flare Blitz gonna pop. Can we get the KO? It's stab. Super effective. Take him out. Get him out of here, yo. Huge turn from us. He does have Fake Out rocking. I'm just gonna double protect here. 
If he wants to drop a fly, he can drop a fly. C boost popping. C boost is popping. So yeah, double protect should come out here. Blaze can outspeed. And we'll see what he does from here. We shall see what he does. Double protect coming out. Bang. Bang. If he wants to hit me with a fake out, go for like an EQ or something along those lines. Or he can just cancel battle and we go back to back in the first two battles. The plays recently have been so good. We've been rocking out, thinking a lot better, and winning a lot more battles. But we're hopping into our third battle here, looking for that perfect record for you guys. Going up against a Galarian Articuno team with Blastoids, Grimmsnarl, Alolan Malak, Venusaur, and uh, Xerxetry. Is that how you pronounce that Pokemon's name? It's something electric. This electric uh, Ultra Beast, you guys already know him. But we're, we're looking for it here. We're on a grind. We have been dominating battles. We got to show off Salamence. I think we got to use every single Pokemon in the first two battles. So we're going for the win here. Who should I go into? How should I play this one? He can go in with the Glarian Articuno. That could be a lead. Um, I'm trying to think. Venusaur's looking scary here. Like, I might just want to lead Blaziken. I think we're going to lead Blaziken and save Dynamax for late round here. Go Blaziken, and I think we're going to go Zapdos alongside with him. Zapdos can rock out, and I can coach him as well. We are going to bring Rillaboom. Right? Rillaboom could be decent. Do I bring the booms that is full of Rillas? Salamence can come in here as well. But I think Rotom. Let's actually go Rotom. And... Hmm. Go Salamence. Do I go Salamence or Rillaboom? Go Rillaboom. Let's go Rillaboom here. Let's get Rillaboom rocking out here and look for that perfect record, dude. Another ally switch in battle number two came up clutch. Dude. They never expect it. And I really wish I would have got off that read. I thought I was going to make a crazy read with uh, going into Blaziken and uh, triggering that Max Quake. Or having him go for that Max Quake into my Blaziken slot. And then just switching out into that Rotom. And just wasting turn. But it worked out either way. It worked out either way, which I really liked. But Articuno and Malwak get the lead. We're gonna lead our Galarian Bird and rock out with him. He does have a ground move. He does indeed have a ground move, which I'm just gonna protect here. And I think I am just going to go wing beat over on the Malwak. Is he ice and psychic? Hmm. Alright, we're just gonna do that. We're just gonna look for a speed boost. The attack comes out from him. He might go for a ground move. That's one plays out. Mouse is just going to protect. Okay. Are you setting up Tailwind? What are you doing from here? What's Articuno going for? The wing beat's going to get blocked. I'm cool with it. And you're going to go for a... Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Not looking good for your boy. Not looking good for your boy. Speed boost coming in the trick room. Oh, that's just slowing us down. That is just slowing us down. Uh, let's try to waste a turn here. Swapper boy skin. And I, I guess we'll go for a dual wing beat. I guess we'll go for a dual wing beat into this article, you know, but this is not looking good. We have to make some hard reads here. We're swapping a boy skin, hoping he goes for a quake. Because I know he's rocking a bone meringue. Bone meringue, do 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 do, and he's gonna die to match. Hey, 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 hey. Let's see, let's see his play. Let's see his play call. What are you gonna do, kind sir? God dang, trick room, dude. Trick room always does you dirty. I think we're just gonna get swamped here in battle number three. <laughs> but sometimes you have those battles. You guys already know about it. There's the quake. The read! <laughs> we get a nice little read there. Take out turn, and Freezing Glare is going to pop into a boy right here. Which we should be able to eat. We have our Sash. That might bring us down the Sash. It doesn't bring us down the Sash, but pr pretty much. The Wing Beat pops. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? We just have to waste out these turns. Let's just protect and detect here. Sardacuna is going to go after my bird. Malwax going to go after Rotom with like a, a, a ghost move. It's just, we just got to waste out Trick Room in turns. And hopefully your back end Pokemon can come, out, come in clutch. Protect. Yeah. Set up that shield. Set it up, baby. Attack. Yeah. Do a little sparkle in the eye. Yeah. 
Phantasm comes out here. There's that ghost move. Oh, into you. You crazy dog. That's fine. You can do that. And he gets a nice, lovely defense drop. Even though he's uh, special attacking with the Articuno, he's physical with the Mawak. I don't like that one bit. Not one bit. Alright. Really? No, we cannot have Rillaboom come out here. This sucks. <laughs> this stinks, man. Alright, we're gonna Dynamax and Guard. That's gonna be our play. Dynamax and Guard, right? It's gotta be your play. Right, Dynamax Guard. Gotta be our play here and drop a Hydro Pump in the Malwack. That's such a tough situation. I should have I should have thought or uh thought or think a little bit more with the Articuno. But if he was going to Interpreter, was really not not gonna build that it, except for double up into him, right? He was just protecting Malwack. And maybe I could have picked a if I would have doubled up into him. I do have Thunder Punch. So here's our Dynamax. Guarding up. Show me your quaking to me. Let's see what you got, man. We go for Phantasm. Smart play. He's gonna be able to hit me pretty hard here. We go down. Ooh, ah! Don't like that one bit. Don't like it one bit. Defense drop coming out here. Yeah, we, it's GG's. It's pretty much GG's. Here goes our, uh, our White Herb, which I like. White Herb coming out. Freezing Glare popping. And we gotta get out my boy Roboom. We gotta get out my boy Roboom, who I can fake out. We're gonna fake out the Articuno. And then hopefully, maybe, probably not take up a shot. But he could protect here as well. That would be tough. Do I take off his Thick Club? I think he's Thick Club. But Trick Room ends next turn, right? All right, Trick Room ends next turn. One's tough. Dude, if we win this one, I'm the best player ever. Trick Room, one more turn. Uh, Good fake out, but I feel like we just have to do a knockoff onto this Malwak. Get rid of his item. Maybe get weather. Weather wouldn't be bad, but then that just helps him out, so... Hmm. Let's go into this. I probably should have weathered this turn. That actually would have been better for us. That, that actually would have been better for us. Because we go second this turn or last. And then next turn we would go first. But I can see him protecting. That's why I didn't double down into him. Just going to see if I get off this knockoff. And he's going to just go for Boomerang. He's going to do some huge damage. Oh, no, no. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Hit me twice. Here goes my knockoff. I'm gonna say built. Get some lovely damage on that thing. Take off his stick club. And what are you going for? Freezing glare, which should be able to use. Oh no, it's super effective. I forgot that it is psychic. And he gets a crit! What you mean? What you mean? Yeah, we're getting swamped on here. This battle's over with. Two and one for today's video. I'm just gonna say it now. There's no way my robo is coming back here. At first I thought freezing glare was uh, ice. We go back to normal. We go back to normal here, but yo. I ain't playing around here. I ain't playing around. I'm staying in here. Don't you dare protect that Malwak. Let's see what you got. If you protect that Malwak and go for Okay, yeah, going for an airsoft. I dig it. I dig it. But yo, the one thing about us is we don't get swept. We don't get swept. Yeah, get him out of here. Get out of my face. I'm not letting this guy beat me 4-0. But GG's to this guy. This guy did it really outplay us there with the trick room. Once he got that off, I kind of, like, I even said, I was like, yo, this one's going to be tough, and it's just not looking good for us at all. But we don't get swept. That's my number one rule. We don't get swept on the channel. We don't get, there's two rules to this channel when we're playing Pokemon Sword Show. One, we don't get swept, and two, we never go 0-3. We never go 0-3. So I'm going to just quit this battle. We know this one's going to be over with this turn. We're going to say GG's and grab ourselves that winning record for today's video. I'm so glad we got to show off a team like this on the ranked double ladder and pick up a 2-1 winning record with it. It was kind of off meta E, which I really did enjoy, and we got to dominate and make some awesome reads with this team. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.